Hey everybody, I'm E, and uh, today I want to do a movie review. And the movie I want to review is Life of Pi, directed by Ang Lee. And it came out um, really recently. I think it came out like maybe sometime before Christmas. And I think it's a movie to see. But let me talk a little bit about it. The movie is based off the book that's also called Life of Pi, and it's written by um, Jan Martel, who is a Canadian author. I think he's based in Ontario. He might not live there anywhere. I knew he grew up in Ontario, but he was actually born in Spain. So let's talk about Pi. Who's Pi? So Pi is the main character. His actual name is Piscine Mar uh, Molitor, and he is a boy who born in India. His parents work in a hotel, and um, they have this huge, huge, you know, area for just like gardens and trees and stuff. And the dad decided, let's turn it into a zoo. So they grew up being around these animals and stuff. And animals play a huge part in the movie. So when things are not going so great for them, the dad decides that they should move to Canada because there's way more opportunity there. And, you know, Piscine is not crazy about it, but he does what his dad wishes, you know, like the whole family. So what they do is they go on this huge Japanese cargo ship to head over to Canada, and they bring all these animals with them because they're their animals. So their plan was to bring the animals with them to sell to maybe other zoos. And what ends up happening is that this huge storm comes and takes down the ship. Pi manages to get away, I'm not going to say wahow or whatever. He gets away and he's on a lifeboat, you know, and he's all by himself, but Piscine sees, you know, he sees a survivor in the water and the waves and he's like, oh my god, I need to help him. So he goes and tries to help him and realizes it's actually a tiger. And the tiger is Richard Parker, who is a huge part of the story because in the film, the whole story is pretty much about how uh, Pi and Richard Parker deal with each other, you know, and work with each other if not, well, they don't really work with each other. The person who does the acting of um, Pi, uh, his name is Sarah Sharma, and if I pronounce that wrong, I'm really sorry, but he's a new up-and-comer in, you know, the movie scene. And he's only 17! You know, he, I'm sure he's been nominated for awards and stuff. He spends a lot of time in the movie by himself and a tiger. Um, and so he doesn't have a lot to work with, but, I mean, he does really good. Um, it kind of reminds you a little bit of like how Tom Hanks was in Castaway, you know, had to work with himself and deal with the environment and everything. It was something like that. Who, and Castaway is also a very good movie. Um, I want to talk about the soundtrack. The soundtrack is wonderful. It's just like, it's a wonderful mix of French India and just gorgeous, just wonderful composition by Michael Dana. And Michael Dana has done tons of other movies. Like, he's probably an A-list composer or s score writer. And... I mean, he's done other movies like, um, I guess, 500 Days of Summer, uh, Capote, which is another great movie, uh, Vanity Fair, he, so many movies. You should look him up and check it out. Next thing I want to talk about is the fact that this movie is in 3D, and I know a lot of people are not crazy about 3D. I'm one of them, but you should hear me out on this. You should totally see this in 3D. I didn't feel sick. It, it wasn't overwhelming at all. You you barely notice it unless you're really sensitive or something but it does a really good job of being really subtle with the the effects and stuff or at least I thought so because I've seen so many movies like overdo it with the effects and stuff and I felt like they used just a good amount even though this film was heavily revolved around religion and believing in God um, you know, you're not going to feel like you're going to get converted or anything. They talk a lot about religion and finding God and believing in God. And that's really, like, the huge message of the whole movie. But to me, it was more like a motivational movie. Uh, basically to 
tell yourself to live life and you know push through all the hard stuff all the all the obstacles that come your way and grab on to the things you really want in life. It could be anything. If you believe in being doing something better for the world, you know, go and do it. And it's really, I mean, it could be very difficult and people will always push you down, but you have to keep trying if you truly believe in it. And I think um, Pai's dad said it the best in the film and it's near the beginning somewhere near the beginning of the film where he says something like it's better to believe in something than to believe in everything blindly and I totally agree you need to know what you want don't let other people decide your destiny for you you have to figure it out yourself you need to know what your path is and it might change all the time but you have to have your eyes set on the goal and know what you want in your life and I think that's the reason why this movie was such a big influence on me is because it makes you believe that anything could be possible as long as you go for it. Have you guys seen the film? If you have, tell me what you thought about it. And you know, and whether you agree or disagree with me, leave it all in the comments. Pretty much all I have to say about Life of Pi. Um, I hope you like my review on the movie. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!